Setting an intention can be one of the most powerful things that you do for yourself. You might have heard a, a buzzword, setting intention, and are curious to know what that means or how to actually make that theory practical. One of the things that I like to do is set a power word or an anchor word. So when I'm feeling stressed out, um, when I'm tired, uh, what I'd like to do is I like to think back to that word and that word grounds me and it, it pulls me to my center and it makes me remember what I'm trying to accomplish that week and why. You know, it's, it's amazing to go after your goals, it's amazing to progress and try to achieve, but if you don't know why you're doing it, then it diffuses the ability and the momentum that you actually can have. So setting an intention is something that you can do that's very powerful. I like to use it as a part of my yoga practice or when achieving fitness goals. Um, for me, it's a very spiritual practice and it's taken me to many, many deep levels uh, within my yoga practice. So if you're just practicing yoga physically um, or you're just beginning and you want to take your practice deeper but you don't find yourself connecting so much with the spirituality, then setting an intention is a really, really powerful way to ground yourself and bring yourself deeper within your own self and you get to know yourself a little bit better this way. So if you haven't set an intention before, I encourage you to do so. Um, you can use things like being compassionate, uh, being loving. You can use words like devotion, dedication, perseverance. So anything that really grounds you and brings focus to what you're trying to do. So I hope that helps give you a little bit of understanding around intention. Thank you. Namaste.